Hang on now. Huh? <laughs> Hold tight. All right. Here goes. Hang on. Careful. soft leather collar on him so I could get a good hold. And then I fed him some sweet water. He was starved. He drank the whole canteen full. He seemed a bright little cuss. So I decided to call him Benjamin Franklin after the brightest man I'd ever heard of. I located a badger nearby and thought he might make a play for Ben. But the badger had only one game in mind. He wanted to play flat rock. So I let him be. Meantime, the cub had found the river and was busy learning what that was. Ben? But shortly he got carried away with his game and forgot the way to dry land. Ben! Ben, no! You're all right now. That won't hurt you. Take it easy. Hey, I gotta teach you your name. You gotta learn to come when you're called. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on, Ben. Like a little more? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Huh? Come on. Your name is Ben. You got that? <laughs> Your name is Ben. Come on, Ben. Ben. Come on. Good boy. Ben. Ben. That's it. Ben. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Good boy. I built a lean-to for us against the weather. This was a good place, water nearby. And Ben was too young to go wandering through the mountains after me, so... I decided we'd stay here, for a while anyway. Come. Come, Ben. You like it, Ben? Good boy. Ben. Daughter. Of course, like every child, came bedtime, all he wanted to do was play. Now, well, no, no, no. The food I'd packed was running out. I got my rifle ready for a hunt. And Ben decided this was something else I was trying to teach him. And he was bound and determined to learn it all. I'll be back soon. You stay here. I gotta find us something to eat, all right? I went 
farther afield than I thought I'd have to. I never was a hunter. I, I didn't really like killing things. I came into a beautiful high canyon. A strange place. something. It... What? No. as quick as I could. I didn't know what I could do for him, but I couldn't leave him. I had to get you back to camp. Now, you... Mm. Now, easy. Hold on. Mm. much I could do this far from civilization except get water and food while he mended. Ben, I think, could sense the sickness and he stayed by himself. I 
I set the Indian's broken leg as best I could. That was all, except to let him know he wasn't alone. Meanwhile, the cub fended for himself and made a meal out of what he found in a rotten log. Having someone to tend again made me, made me remember back. I couldn't get Peg out of my mind. Oh, Daddy will make it better. But be a brave girl. The Indian seemed stronger in the morning, and I could get down to the river to freshen up, along with a coyote who'd been hanging around camp. Water's good, isn't it, boy? Ben, as usual, was in the mood for play, and looked around for something to keep him busy. There was a pair of young ferrets wrestling around in the grass. Ben thought, from a distance, but they were just about the right size for him to pick on. <laughs> His idea of a playmate was someone you could bang on the head. <laughs> That's a poor way to start a friendship. The Indian mended very slow. I worried about him. He was so weak. Hard tack and water wouldn't pull him through. He needed fresh meat, as much as I could get him. I set out to hunt. It was hot, and I wasn't having any luck at all. 